Quinn, Jack. Your final assignment is classification red. At 3.05 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, a truck loaded with 32 kilograms of non-active plutonium was stolen from a secured U.S. nuclear installation outside Croatia. We believe Stavros and his organization will sell it to the Iraqis within 24 hours. Your objective is to make sure the plutonium is returned safely to our base. Out of the way! Call for you, sir. Quinn's in. We have satellite confirmation that the XRT is mobile. Wow, this will be a ride. Quinn has 14 hours to reach the border. If he does make it, his resignation is final. <laughs> Catherine, your damn cow is in my way. It's not a cow, Jack. It's the swamp. Whatever it is, it's in my way. In your way? Your swan is beautiful. You're beautiful. Well, not for long, huh? You'd still be sexy. A bit rounder and a bit softer. Jack, the baby. It's what we want now. Of course. Mm. Bonjour, Jack. You don't believe in front doors. There's a back door, too. You of all people should know that. Hey, how'd you find me? We never lost you, my friend. So you know I'm retired. Come on, how long do you think you can sit on your ass and watch the sunset? You're a hunter, Jack, admit it. You missed the game. You don't get it. For me, it's personal. For you, 
It's politics. Come on. Politics makes money. Brings you opportunities. Everything's politics. You want personal? I'll give you personal. Stavros is back, and we want him alive. We want all his nasty information. Names, clients, escape routes. That's why we need you. After all these years chasing him, you're the only guy who knows how he works, how he moves. Come on, Jack. This is your last shot. We've got a Delta team prepped and waiting for you in Antwerp. Face it, Jack. You can't retire until he does. Is Gwyn coming back or not? I don't know. Maybe he really is retired. If he is, we go to plan B. Move the seat up. It's a little tight in the rear. But that's generally true of the CIA, isn't it? So you bust a few drug cartels in third world countries. You testify in front of Congress. They make you a deputy director. Get to the point. The point is, you're nothing but a minor leaguer. You were only good for one thing. You got Quinn back in the game. That'll be challenging. Pull over here. And by the way, I left you a present. Oh! Get me out of here! Ah! back in 36 hours. Looking for Yaz. Whoa, I bet that hurt. That hurt. These hurt too. But I kind of like this one right here, though. Who are you? I'm the man. You? I hope you don't judge a person by the way they look. I hate that. Who does your hair? Siegfried or Roy? The last guy made fun of my hair. He's still trying to put his hair out of his ass. I don't want to know about your sex life. Well, this has been fun. Now, who in the hell are you? Jack Quinn. If you want to dance, ask me nicely. I just want to check and see if it's you, Mr. Quinn. Damn, the legend walks. I heard you dropped out of the game, Jack. Whoa. It's not this workshop. Who's that? Rudolph? I may not have reindeer, but I do have the best elves in the business. Christmas shopping for bad boys? Huh? I don't play with the bad boys anymore. Only the good guys, baby. Just tell me what you need. I got shit here so new, even I don't know I have it. Offense gets the glory. But defense wins the game. 
I take cash, gold. Did you open that? Yeah. Pour in the hole! No. But I don't take personal checks. Yeah. I have a rule here. You break it, you bought it. Got it? Delta One. Forget you've ever seen him. This is Mr. Ymir. He has information that Stavros will be surfacing tomorrow afternoon. Somewhere around here. An amusement park. Huh. Who's my dead eye? That would be me, sir. Know how to use it? It's been modified to shoot tranquilizer darts. Can you shoot a man at 200 yards with that? With this, I can shoot the dick of a hummingbird. He's like a snake. If you look into his eyes, he'll get you in the back. When we ID Stavros, move into position. You only have one shot. Two darts will kill a man, three will kill a rhino. And we want Stavros alive. Something's happening. Bravo One, we have Stavros. North lot, gray Mercedes. We've got three men moving. The driver's staying with the car. Let him in, Bravo. Delta Two and Five. Move to Baker. The rest of you hold. Roger, Delta One. This is way too easy. He's in my sight, and I have clear coverage on him. Ready to fire. Ah. That's the Stavros! It's the lefty! Stavros is lefty! Sir? It's not him! The driver! Find the driver! En route to ground position. Come on, my friends! Come on! Come on! Here we go! That's right! We're securing the exits. I got it. Roger, at the tiger cage. Who's the woman? She's hiding something. It could be a bomb. I got. I'm locked on, Delta One. Delta Two and Five in position, sir. We're ready to take him. Delta One. What are you waiting for, Delta One? Ready to move in. Delta One, I'm waiting for your command. You have your shot? What are you waiting for?
mother told me that his favorite thing in the world used to be when he'd go riding his little pony on the weekends. He loved riding that little horse. Little horse gonna miss my boy. I'm a professional, Quinn. I've killed. I've killed a lot. But most of the bastards I've killed deserve to die. My little boy was six years old, mister. My little boy was six years old. Now that makes it personal, mister. <laughs> Candidate for colony residency. Quinn, Jack Paul. Born 1959. Entered foreign service at 22. Advanced training, demolitions, tracking, psychological countermeasures. Speciality, anti-terrorism. Last assignment, Stavros acquisition. Video segment A19. Antwerp interdiction. Agent Quinn achieved clean opportunity to acquire Alpha, but Target Alpha escaped. You went soft. Soft agents are a liability, but because of your skills, you've been assigned to the colony. No! If you fail to cooperate, Mr. Quinn, you have an alternative. Nerve gas is quite painless, but effective. But why bother? You're dead already. At least that's what your wife and the rest of the world have been told. If you wish to live, just put your thumbprint on the scanner next to the TV. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Identity confirmed. Thank you, Mr. Quinn. Oh, <coughs> Jack, glad you decided to join us. Alex Goldsmith. The taxman. You were killed s s six years ago. God, it's been six years already? Oh, well. I'm on board. 
some friends are waiting to meet you. Gentlemen, come and meet the famed Jack Quinn. You already made it, Quinn. Moshe Levant. You died in Lebanon. Beirut, actually. Everybody. All agents. Or ex-agents. Or ex-enemies. We're too valuable to kill and too dangerous to set free. Welcome to the colony. Quinn. Stahl. I understand. I thought I killed him in Tosla. Apparently not well enough. I really dislike that man. Jack, you must wear this at all times. Simple device, really. Part pager, part timer. Lets you know where to be and for how long. When you hear its signal, you must respond. We're a think tank, Jack. We're linked into every law enforcement database in the world. We analyze terrorist incidents and recommend responses to our client governments. We are the last line of defense against global terrorism. And nobody even knows we exist. Now, oh, what's on the menu for today? What you're seeing is wreckage of a Global Air 747 en route from San Francisco to Seoul, South Korea. Our image generator is interpreting signals from the crash site. Headset on, hand on the scanner at all times. Attention, we have a feed coming in from Washington, D.C. I have a brief statement from the Secretary concerning the global air tragedy. But I won't be taking any questions. Of the 176 passengers on board the flight, there are no survivors. The CIA is reporting the plane was downed by the North Koreans in an unprovoked and deliberate terrorist attack. The Secretary stands by this assessment and will hold a briefing later this evening regarding the United States' response. The Koreans are denying responsibility while the American President consults his allies. Jack, your continued usefulness depends on your ability to analyze and interpret incoming data during times of crisis. This is the colony's reason to exist, Jack. Thank you. The plane explodes from internal malfunction. Very fast. It's gone. We've just intercepted a transmission of Global 277's cockpit voice recorder. Pacific Center, we've got unscheduled traffic at heading 329. My, my. Not a pleasant prospect. The Koreans having that technology. Anyone with an alternative? Anyone? Analysis confirms the report. Moshe, you buy it? I'm not sure. He's lying. He's covering something up. They must know something about the shutdown. Let's re-examine the satellite images. Hold it there. What's that? Look, there's a shadow. Bingo. An AWF. No, an F4 weasel. Recreate the computer simulation to include this new possibility. If it flew close enough, it might be hidden from their scanners. North Koreans pick up the F4 on radar, but shoot down a passenger jet. The Americans were using the jumbo jet as cover for a data recon on a weapons test. They were set up so the Americans could eavesdrop on a military base. Inspired. 
Nice call, Jack. Underwater lasers. Lasers. Starting one meter below the surface, interlocking lasers destroy anything they contact. The lasers don't get you, the Undertow will. They've thought of everything, Jack. No one ever escaped? No one? No one. Last one to try was a chap named Bryce. This was before the lasers were installed. Poor fellow didn't survive 48 hours. His guardian took care of him. Each resident is assigned a guardian. Never know who he is. It's the guardian's job to observe his assignments, attitude, behavior, production, that sort of thing. If a resident escapes, the guardian is sent to terminate him. How did you hide this place for so long? <laughs> Masking devices. We're virtually invisible. remain in contact until cleared. Quattordici mila lira, per piacere. Grazie. Hi, I'm Maria Trifioli. We spoke on the phone, yes. Well, I'm glad you accepted our proposal. I'm flattered. It's very generous. But you know, it will be so difficult for me you to... You mean you don't want to show your work here? You have other offers? 
Well, it's been only four months since my husband... It must be hard for you, I know. But perhaps this will open a new chapter in your life. No, no, the problem is moving to Rome. I'd have to sell the cottage, and Rome is so expensive. You must stay with us at the Regina. We have plenty of room. And I'll make sure you and the baby have nothing but the best care in Rome. Tonight you'll meet the gallery owner. He's been waiting a long time to meet you. This has all the earmarks of a Stavros operation. It confirms our earlier intelligence regarding Stavros' current activities. What we need to know is who is paying for his talents. In view of this, we anxiously await your analysis of this event. What's unusual is no one's claimed responsibility. Location Barcelona. The Algerians have been flexing muscle there recently. The Algerians can't afford Stavros. Maybe it's personal vengeance. Stavros working on his own. That's not his style. Why would he? Suppose it was some cycle, a random act. Several groups have been active lately in Spain. What do you think, Jack? Jack? No. No? Jack, we are awaiting your comment. It's not Stav... Stavros. It's a copycat. I had my chance at Stavros. I also failed. He is my last unpaid debt. Now he's running around loose, and I'm stuck on this rock. You were our last great hope. The last one still playing the game who was good enough to get him. What does he know about this place? We're not sure. That's why it's so dangerous. Agencies around the world used his services when they needed someone with the stomach for difficult work. It's ironic, really. When he was our ally, he was considered heroic. Now he works for someone else's a scallywag. Let's face it, he's fallen out of fashion. I'm afraid we've uh, had to part with your beautiful swan. I took the liberty of uh, doubling the price. My husband loved that swan. He thought it was a cow. <laughs>
have five minutes to check in at your cottages, gentlemen. Who's this guardian?
Where'd you come from? I heard they made you disappear. I need merchandise. Sorry, I'm closed for the night. You're up and now. I need some mean toys. I got something new here you're gonna love. It'll make you the baddest boy on the block. Guaranteed. Check this out. Laser sight. Fully automatic. You're gonna need a holster for that gun. Oh, these are nice. Can you fly a plane? Like a bird. But my ass is stay on the ground, brother. I'm having to sell new gas grenades. You bring cash? I'll pay you later. Oops, I just declared a seven-day cool off here. Thank you very much. You know I'm good for it. Sorry, brother. You got out of the game. Dead man, don't get credit. I'll give you three CIA bank account numbers. When I get the merchandise, I'll give you the access codes. I don't know, man. I look at you, I see nothing but trouble. What the hell? I kind of like trouble. What do you mean, no parachute? My creation is better than a parachute. Nah, are you sure this works? Of course it works. You sure? Of course. I'm positive it works. Yeah? Yeah. Look, you die, you get a full refund. Trust me. Good luck! Thanks! Did you test it? Did you? I don't need to test it. I'll build it. I'll see you back at your shop. And maybe I'll give you the access codes. What do you mean, maybe? Trust me. Fight me.
Ratchet been bumpy. Well, I'm glad to see you can still play. You know, if I were you, I'd check into the Hotel Navona in Rome. Your baby's due tomorrow. That's his heartbeat. I said, don't be late. Oh, uh, I wouldn't take uh, this car. Ratchet been bumpy. Well, I'm glad to see you can still play. You know, if I were you, I'd check into the Hotel Navona in Rome. Your baby's due tomorrow. That's his heartbeat. Listen, don't be late. Oh, uh, I wouldn't take uh, this car. Oops! Don't spoil the paint job. Thanks. Thanks. I'm just protecting my investment. This is a little too dangerous for me. I want the numbers. I want them now. This car is rigged. I need transportation to Rome. Transportation, you say? I have some connection in this area. I told you, if they can make it, I can steal it. Why didn't you steal something bigger? Well, maybe you want something to blend in. So that explains your clothes. What's wrong with my clothes? You look like a carrot with earrings. <laughs> Damn bicycles. Get out of the way! You're blocking the lane! Oh, yeah. I picked them up. They're entering the autostrada to Rome. That checks with our latest information. Quinn's wife is now reported to be at the Hotel Regina. Splendid. We've got a game going. God, I love you so much. to the rear of the hotel. Anything for Jack Quinn? Uh, si, senore, uh, right here. Thanks. Uh, yes, come to the back of the hotel. We'll have a bellman there to meet you. Si. Who's waiting for you at the front desk, Quinn? Well, it's not a bomb. Maybe it's the access codes. I would love to get paid. Those bank accounts are fronts. Empty. Figures, Quinn. Why are you lying to me? I bet the colony doesn't even exist, does it? It's not about the colony. What the hell is this? A sonogram of my son. Stavros has my boy. You go back to Antwerp. I'll get you money. I pay my debts. Quinn, keep your money. Why are you didn't tell me this before? What do you care? You always play defense, right? It's time to get out the bench. The best defense is a strong offense, right? Right. Stavros has been making the rules. If we play this game, my wife and son are dead. You gonna send an email message? It's gonna be intercepted by every agency in Europe. What's the plan? I don't have one, but Stavros doesn't know that. So he'll do what he thinks I would do. So he has to check it out. And when he does, he'll take us right to Catherine. Stavros, look at this. Ah, Quinn's clever. Very sensitive man. Another time, another place. It's just too late. <laughs> Taking you to the hospital, you'll be safer there. <laughs> Look. 
This is a circus. Everybody's here. There's the Mossad. Some local boys on the corner. Even the Carbonieri. Holy cow, it's a full house. Pardon me. Hey, keep Pardon moving, me. buddy. So, um, it seems your plan isn't working. Patience. He'll be here. If we need help, I have a brother. You have a brother? Yes, I have a brother. It's St. Clemente Chapel. Say the truth, man. It's very strange with you. Now it's very strange. Eh? something, Jack? I never break a promise. Never. I don't you to worry about it. I promise you I'll send you an invitation to the baby's christening. Think about wearing black. Let my wife go. Take me. Well, actually, Jack, I think I'm gonna take all three of you. Got it. I got Stavros and Quinn. I have a clear line. Over. Over. Out of the game. You sure?
Where's my wife? I don't know what you're talking about, man. Everything will be fine. Who are you, people? See you there. Jack's coming. Take your business. I don't know what day it is. When I see Ralph Ryer, I'm looking for a guy named... brothers. You are a friend of Brother Yaz. He has done many favors for our order, including a mainframe processor that must be seen to be believed. What's up? What's up? What's up? This is my brother Regulo. And my brother Romelo. This is my brother, Quinn. These monks have been collecting information on Rome for 500 years. 
The system has been really updated. Cyber monks. That prescription label you found? He's tracing it right now. Oh, yes. What che cos'è questo? Che significa? Chi ce l'ha messo? Internet. Some 27 doctors prescribed this same medication in the last few days. Ma che cosa succede? It's an outside signal. Is it going to crash? Where in heaven did that come from? May I? Incoming message. Thanks for the blessing, Jack. He's down here somewhere. Man, these entries over the fortune. <clears throat> In a spiritual sense. <laughs> Now under the Tiber River. This branch of the tunnel will lead under the island of Tiberi. Is it the only way to get to the hospital without using the bridge? So that's where Stavros will place his man. Good luck. Yes, good luck. Thank you, brothers. Get on the internet, my brothers. I'll wait for your email. Okay, push. Push. Okay, like that. Push. Push. Damn, it's stuck. Maybe I have something in my pocket. What do you have? What's that? My lucky coin. And my lucky detonator. And my lucky plastic explosive. Semtex. That's the stuff. Handier than duct tape. Preparation, my friend. You gotta have the right tool for the job. You gotta be prepared for anything. Damn, not in a wire. Preparation, huh? Hold on. Let's find a rock. You don't mind, do you, man? It's for a good cause. Thanks. Oops, air ball. You need practice, man. I hate practice, but I never miss twice, brother. Ah! 
This hospital is awfully quiet. You take care of it. They're over here. I heard them as well. Go! Michael, what are you doing just standing? This is the hospital. No running, please. Stavros. Where is he? Where's our son? Where's my son? I know where they are. You go get your boy. I'll take care of her. Thank you. You owe me. Party's over. You know, Jack. I can call you Jack, can I? I bet you there's not a single night you can't close your eyes tight enough. Without seeing my little boy's face, I'm gonna give you a chance to save your son. If you live today, you'll get to know your son. And if you don't, I'll raise him as my own. You know, men are strong, Jack. But the tiger, stronger. Watch your step, Jack. You know, nothing wrong with stepping on a mine. It's Stepping off the counts. Come on. Come on.
watch you go off and party without me, okay? I'll be back. This place is gonna blow. You take care of my son. I'll take care of Stavros. But my tall friend and that mine will turn you into red paint. Like you're on a bit of now, Star Bros. I forgot to tell you, hope you don't mind. I know you went through a lot of trouble digging these holes, putting up these markers, and I know mines don't come cheap. 
But I moved a couple of your crosses. Sorry. Yes! Behind you! Oh, I want to remember my Roman holiday. Give me a souvenir. Cut a piece of your hair. Oh, and your shirt. Queen, you may like this. Here's a souvenir from me. Maybe my corner be lucky for you too. I'm not giving you any pieces of my hair, Mr. Goldsmite. <laughs> Quite a magician, Mr. Yaz. Now it's my turn to disappear. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. Well, you can bet your ass they'll blame me for this one. <laughs> I wonder what the fine would be. Huh? Yeah!